so suppose let let f x be a function defined by defined by f x is equal to suppose this is only constant into x whenever x is greater than minus 1 less than 2 this is equal to 0 otherwise note that earlier we did x square now we x only so check whether f can f can be a probability density function probability density function of a continuous random variable So, continuous random variable x for some value of c in r. Okay. So, then find if it is a continuous random variable then and if so if uh, f is uh, if f if can be a pdf we denote in short notation probability density function pdf if if can be a pdf find c and probability x less than equal to 0 and if not justify justify your answer your answer so now uh, what we will do so first of all we will find we will check the uh, some of the properties. So, most important property is that uh, we will uh, most of the time we check just this minus infinity to plus infinity f x x d x should be is equal to 1. So, if you do that, so note that earlier we break the whole the interval and we uh, mostly uh, this is uh, big, it is 0 outside the uh, range of this random variable. So, that is why again uh, this implies the other uh, only the um, part we have to do integrate where it is non-zero only. So, it is otherwise it is 0. So, we will just uh, skipping all those steps. So, this is minus 1 to 2 uh, f x x d x plus 0 this should be is equal to 1. So, from here we can find the solution c. So, this is nothing but uh, minus 1 uh, minus 1 to 2. Uh, uh, so, let next page I let us write. So, this is nothing but which implies uh, minus 1 to 2 c x d x this is equal to 1 because this is the definition c x. So, which implies this is uh, some constant into uh, x square by 2 x square by 2 minus 1 to 2 this is equal to 1 which implies c into see that it is uh, x square is 2 square 4. So, c by 2 into 4 minus of minus 1 whole square 1. So, 4 minus 1 it is nothing but 3. So, this is 3. So, this is equal to 1. So, which implies c is equal to 2 by 3, c is equal to 2 by 3. So, uh, we can find a constant here, we can see that it may be a uh, probability density function because whenever it by solution it is given c is equal to 2 by 3 that means, if you uh, take this c equal to 2 by 3 then it is a probability density function. So, it seems it is it will be a probability density function. Now, uh, we want to find probability of x less than equal to 0. So, what will be the probability of x less than equal to 0? Probability of x less than equal to 0 by definition it is nothing but minus 1 to 0 f x x d x. So, what the density function we found? So, f x x is equal to c now 2 by 3. So, 2 by 3 x whenever x is uh, minus 1 to 2 it is equal to 0 otherwise. otherwise. So, uh, then uh, uh, because uh, uh, this covariety contribute only where this range in the range of this random variable where non-zero density exists. So, this is nothing but uh, minus infinity. So, this is nothing but 
minus a, so this will be 0 plus because some part will be the integration minus 1 to minus 1 this integration it will be 0 because this function is 0 plus minus 1 to uh, 0 uh, f x d x. So, this is equal to minus 1 to 0. So, f x is nothing but 2 x by 3 d x. So, then if you do the integration so, x square by so again 2 so what we found yeah 2 by 3 so this is 2 by 3 into x square by 2. So, this is x square by 2 and then uh, this limit is minus 1 0. So, 2 to cancel. So, now if you take this limit so see that x square is 0 0 minus minus 1 whole square minus 1. So, this is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 3. So, but probability cannot be negative. So, this is a negative number. So, it cannot be negative. So, we did some mistake. So, basically uh, it cannot be a probability density function, but where we did the mistake? Uh, here you can see that we only checked these things. Most of the time uh, we check that this integration should be is equal to 1, but we ignore other property. So, one important property is that f x always has to be greater than equal to 0. Here you can see that this density function it is given c into x. So, if you take c positive, so then in the uh, interval minus 1 to 0, this is negative value, this value is negative. Now, if you take this c negative value, so then this interval uh, 0 to 2, this value will be negative. So, f x cannot be always positive for any particular values of a real number c. So, that is why there cannot exist any c which satisfy that f x will be greater than equal to 0 throughout the interval. Hence, f x cannot be f x cannot be cannot be a probability density function of a random variable variable x because it is not satisfying the uh, property property of a probability density function. So, here we just learn that a very in all the properties are very important and we have to uh, check this also whenever the some probability density function is given to us then you have to check whether uh, this is uh, correct or not ok. So, let us do some other example. So, uh, some more numerical example let us do. Suppose uh, a function f is given uh, like let uh, suppose if a random variable x has the probability density function uh, if uh, a random variable x uh, has the has the probability density function has the probability density function given by density function as follows as follows. So, f x is equal to 1 by 4. So, minus 2 less than x less than 2 this is equal to 0 otherwise ok. So, this is called a uh, uniform random variable because it is taking. So, if you draw the graph of this probability density function, so then you can see that it is minus 2 suppose this is 1, this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, this is 1, this is 2, 3 like that. So, it is 1 by 4 suppose this is 1 by 4. So, this is constant it is 1 by 4 in 2 to. So, this is actually uh, 2 to minus 2 to 2. So, this is the uh, graph of this function f x x and is a, it is 0 uh, outside this region. So, it is it is constant. Uh, so, uh, for discrete uniform random variable uh, it will take same probability for at, at most of the point here for continuous case it is taking same probability density values for all the value inside a interval. So, uh, for all the uh, domain domain in the inside the interval in the interval. So, it is a continuous uh, uniform random variables. So, we will discuss more details about some of the special distribution function. So, here so question is that it is the density function is given. So, find probability that x is equal to less than 1, x is less than 1. Second question is that find the probability that uh, probability that mod x is uh, greater than 1 and third question is that third question is that find the probability that 2x plus 3 should be greater than 5. 
So, so these are not very difficult if you have understood then you can go through it just I am computing again for to uh, understand clearly how to find the probabilities using a probability density function. So, this density function is given. So, how we will find the probability x less than 1? So, by definition it is left hand side it will be minus infinity to so this is nothing but minus infinity to 1 uh, fx dx. So, but here uh, this density function exists on this interval only otherwise it is 0. So, that is why this is 0 plus minus 2 to 1 fx dx. So, this is nothing but minus 2 to 1 fx is nothing but 1 by 4 dx it is a constant random variable. So, this is x 1 by 4 uh, then x uh, then minus 2 to 1. So, this is nothing but uh, 1 minus minus 2 2 plus 1 3. So, this is nothing but 3 by 4. So, uh, I think I hope this may be any mistake oh, minus 1 ok x less than le, x less than 1 sorry x less than 1. So, this is fine. So, basically uh, it is a uniform random variable. So, uh, it will take all the interval same probability if you divide same uh, length. So, that is why uh, it is a 4 part. So, now this is 1 part 2 second second part. So, mi minus 2 minus 1 or minus 1 to 0 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. So, that is why uh, because it is 4 part it is taking 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is up to uh, third part it is taking. So, that is why it is proportional to the probability will be 3 by 4. So, that is coming from the uh, mathematics also and from graphically also you can understand it because it is a uniform distribution. Now, how will find probability of mod x greater than 1? Suppose you want to find the probability that uh, mod x is greater than 1. So, mod x is greater than 1 uh, uh, we can uh, so it is different way you can do directly you can compute by doing integration or you can take the complement of that complement of that will be 1 minus probability of complement of this mod x is uh, less than equal to 1. So, why we do that? So, because this is 1 minus probability of if you can find this uh, suppose first we find this probability that uh, mod x is uh, less than equal to 1. So, this probability is nothing but probability that x is uh, taking less than equal to 1 and also x can be greater than equal to minus 1 then mod x will be less than equal to 1. So, it is easy to find this probability because this density function is 1 by 4 uh, this is minus 2 to plus 2. So, then minus 1 to plus 1 fx dx. So, note that now we are not dividing whole. So, here actually it is not required also. So, minus 1 to 1 fx dx because it is non-zero inside the interval. So, this is nothing but minus 1 to 1 this density function this density function it is given 1 by 4. So, this is 1 by 4 uh, dx and dx. So, this is nothing but uh, x by 4. So, 1 by 4 x uh, minus 1 to plus 1. So, 1 plus minus or minus 1 plus 2. So, this 2 by 4. So, this is nothing but 1 by 2. So, now if we want to find this value probably mod x greater than 1. So, this is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 2 this is nothing but 1 by 2. So, that is the probability and next the we want to find the probability that uh, so probably what is the probability we have to ask uh, what the question. So, this is what is the probability that 2 x plus 3 is greater than 5. So, how we can find that probability? So, probability that 2 x plus 3 greater than 5 how we can find this probability? So, this probability is equivalent to because if you do uh, subtract 3 then this inequality does not. So, it is equivalent this is, if this is true so then this is also true. So, both side you subtract uh, 2 x is uh, greater than you 2 x I just subtract minus 3 r minus 3 r 2 x is greater than 2. So, then uh, this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but which is equal to uh, probability that if you this is 2 x is greater than 2 because 2 is a positive number if you divide both side th this is equivalent to say that x is greater than 1. So, which is nothing but if you take the complement. Uh, so, you can either find directly this probability also it is nothing but 1 to infinity f x dx. So, because x is greater than 1 means this uh, it is less than infinity. So, in the this side it is op, uh, it is not mentioned that means like earlier whenever left side it is not mentioned we take it is minus infinity whenever it is less than it is greater than. So, it will be uh, it is saying that. 
So, it is nothing but we can write like this x is greater than 1 less than infinity it is saying. So, that is why it is 1 to infinity f x dx, but this is non 0 up to 2 only. So, that is why it is 1 to 2 f x dx plus remaining part will be 0 to 2 infinity. So, this is nothing but 1 to 2 1 by 4 f x is 1 by 4 dx. So, this is the density function you can see that this is the density function 1 by 4. So, this is uh, 1 to 2 1 by 4 dx. So, 2 minus so now uh, this is 1 by 4 and uh, integration is x this is 1 to 2. So, 2 minus 1 1. So, then this is nothing but 1 by 4. So, this probability is nothing but 1 by 4. So, uh, this is some uh, example some uh, probability density function. Now, suppose uh, you have been given this probability density function and you want to find the cumulative distribution function f x x. How you will find the cumulative distribution function? So, f x x. So, uh, find suppose suppose this probability density function given to us uh, like it is 1 by 4 whenever x is greater than minus 2 less than 2 this is equal to 0 otherwise. So, then what will be the find find the cumulative distribution function CDF find the cumulative distribution function of the random variable x. So, we define this cumulative distribution function f x x it is nothing but probability that x less than equal to x for any real number. So, now you can see that uh, this real number if it is minus 2 to plus 2 then this density exists otherwise it is 0. So, that is why this will be nothing but minus infinity to plus infinity f x t d t. So, I am why you are uh, changing the variable because here x we have already used this variable. So, x is here for the cumulative distribution function. So, if you do the integration the we are computing the area under this uh, curve f t. So, that is why we are uh, using the different variable. Now, you can see that this will be. So, basically suppose how this density function given here. So, this is suppose 1 by 4 here because this is 1 by 4. So, this is minus 2 minus 1 1 this is 0 2 otherwise it is 0. So, that is why. So, this is the uh, 1 by 4 length otherwise 0. So, now uh, if you do the area under the curve the area it is it exist here. So, if you any x here suppose if you are taking x here. So, this function is 0. So, if if this x is less than minus 2 then this probability is so minus m to minus uh, x if you find probability of x less than equal to sorry x minus m to x x is less than 2 minus 2. So, f x dx. So, this is will be 0 because x is less than minus 2. So, up to this you are doing the integration there is no uh, probability density. So, that is why uh, then this probability will be 0. So, this will be is equal to 0 if uh, x is uh, less than minus 2 if x is less than minus 2. Uh, greater than uh, sorry x is less than minus 2 greater than minus infinity. Now, whenever x is uh, greater than equal to or you can consider less than equal to minus 2 also because you have if you are doing minus infinity to 2 minus 2 then uh, this density does not exist equal to 0. So, because uh, it is exist only in this interval. So, now if you whenever you are doing x is greater than equal to minus 2 and it is less than 2 because uh, there will be separate case when it is greater than 2 also because if he x is there then it will all the uh, integration you will do and uh, this area will be cover 1. So, plus 0. So, it will be 1, but x is whenever it is inside minus 2 to plus 2. So, then uh, then uh, it is minus 2 to plus 2 suppose. So, because e e you have taken we have taken equality here. So, here we can take just uh, a open interval x is greater than minus 2 less than 2 then what will happen. So, then this is nothing but uh, this probability of uh, x less than equal to x is nothing but minus immunity to x f x dx this is nothing but minus immunity to minus 2 f x dx this is 0 and minus 2 to x f x dx. So, this is nothing but 0 plus minus 2 to uh, x f x is nothing but 1 by 4 uh, dx. So, then 
uh, see that this if you do the integration x 1 by 4 and this is the x uh, minus 2 to uh, x sorry uh, I have one minute let us do this again uh, because the space issue. So, here we want to find suppose let x is between 2 to minus 2. So, then what is the probability that x less than equal to x? This is nothing but minus infinity to x. I, I have to change the different variable we have to take. This is nothing but minus infinity to x. Uh, this is uh, this is 1 by 4, sorry, uh, because it this density does not exist before minus 2, we have to break it minus infinity to minus 2 uh, f t d t plus minus 2 to x f t d t. So, this is nothing but because minus infinity to minus 2 this is 0, 0 plus minus 2 to so 0 plus minus 2 to x uh, this is f t is nothing but 1 by 4 this is nothing but 1 by 4 dt. So, this is nothing but I am just writing because you if you do integration it will be t t by 4 t if you limit this is x plus 2 limit then, then it is nothing but x plus 2 by 4. So, that is why it is nothing but whenever it is inside this x plus 2 by 4 this is the uh, the this is the simulative distribution function. Now, whenever x is greater than equal to 2 less than infinity what will be this value? because whenever x is so here greater than equal to 2 somewhere here. So, you will do the integration uh, you will break the integration the minus minus to minus 2 this is 0 minus 2 to plus 2 this integration will be 1 and then 2 to whatever the value x. So, that x will be uh, this integration will be 0. So, that is why this will be always 1. So, again if I if you want to see this. So, whenever x is greater than equal to minus 2 less than infinity then f of x. Uh, so, this is nothing but f of x x is nothing but probability that x less than equal to x. So, then what will be happen? So, then this is nothing but uh, mi minus infinity to x uh, f t d t. So, because x is greater than equal to 2, now we have to break this interval minus infinity to minus 2 f t d t plus minus 2 to 2 f t d t plus 2 to x f t d t. So, this will be the uh, total integration total uh, yeah. So, then this is this is this function is 0 uh, minus infinity to minus 2. Uh, so, that is why this will be again 0 plus this is minus 2 to uh, f t d t. So, this is minus 2 to 2 this value is 1 by 4 in this interval plus uh, 2 to x this this is again 0 in this interval because uh, this is uh, this is the definition 0 1 by 4 minus 2 to plus 2 it is 0 in this interval. So, this value will be this value will be 0. So, then uh, if you do this integration this is t by 4 and then uh, if you do the limit. So, this is nothing but 1 by 4 this is 1 by 4 into t sorry yeah uh, this limit minus 2 to plus 2 2 plus 2 4 this is 4 by 4 this is equal to 1. So, this interval will be 1. So, that is why uh, this is nothing but 1. So, that we are finding. So, this will be your cumulative distribution function. So, then you how this cumulative distribution function looks like. So, you can see that. So, this is 0 minus 1 minus 2 like this 1 2 like this. Now, uh, density function is constant but how this cumulative distribution function looks like it is 0 up to minus 2 0 up to minus 2 then up to, then what is the value uh, at 2 it is 1. So, it will be a it is a straight line suppose 1 is here. So, so let us ok. So, this is 2 and then suppose this is 1 here. So, this is the 1 no sorry yeah. So, then uh, your distribution function looks like this, this is 1 after 2. So, that is the distribution function, this is the f x x. So, whenever x is minus 2 0, x is 2 it is 1 and it is a straight line between 
this two point and then it will be one after that. So, this is like a distribution function looks like this. So, this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, one example that if probability density function given to us then th then how to find the probability uh, distribution function. Probability density function of a random variable given to us then how we can find the probability density function. Okay. So, uh, most of the random variable uh, continuous random variable what we uh, just discussed you can see that this random variable taking some of the finite interval, but it can take infinite interval also we will discuss that. So, uh, like discrete case also we discussed that some of the finite values it is taking, but infinite values also it can take we have discussed some example. Here also let us consider this function let, let f x be a random variable continuous random variable be a continuous random variable with the probability density function with the probability density function defined by defined by defined by f of x x is equal to c by x square whenever x is greater than 1 less than infinity 0 otherwise. So, why we took x is greater than 1 because if you take x include 0 something then it is undefined. So, now we uh, see uh, whether c is a constant where c is a constant find c and find probability suppose x is uh, greater than 2 less than 3. So, uh, this we want to find. So, now how we can find this c, c uh, here we have to check the uh, some of the important properties of the probability density function. So, what are those properties? f of x x will be always greater than equal to 0. So, here you can see that if c is positive then it will be always greater than equal to 0. Now, uh, the second properties is that whenever c is positive whether this indication uh, in this range minus minus to plus minus f x x can be equal to 1 for a part uh, some values of c. So, if you do this indication minus minus to plus infinity because it is a density function if it has to be density function then it will be equal to 1. So, for this implies minus infinity. So, because uh, this is uh, non-zero uh, it is 0 up to 1. So, minus infinity to 1 f x x d x it is minus infinity to uh, minus infinity to 1 f x x d x plus uh, 1 to infinity because it is it may be it is seems non zero here minus 1, 1 to infinity f x x d x this is equal to 1 which implies see it is 0 inside this interval this is 0 plus what is the value here 1 to infinity this integration c by x square c by x square uh, dx c by x square dx this is equal to 1. Now, whether this this exists now if you do so it is a indefinite integral. So, how we will do that? So, basically uh, you have to take a value a here a is greater than 1 and then take the limit a goes to infinity. So, now we will do, we will not uh, do uh, uh, that in a properly. So, just uh, we assume that we know this how to do this integration. So, this is nothing but uh, we will just take integration here x to x is uh, minus 2 plus 1. So, it is nothing but minus 1 by x. So, this is minus 1 by x and this is limit is 1 to infinity. Basically, infinity we are not putting, we will take the limit that uh, this 1 by x as x goes to infinity, what is the value. Now, at uh, infinity, so it is minus 1 by x as infinity it will be 0 x goes to infinity, this is 0 and at 1 this is nothing but 1. So, uh, that is nothing but uh, nothing but which implies this is equal to 1 which implies uh, this value is nothing but uh, basically here. 
So, C into this is nothing but 1, so this is equal to 1. So, basically uh, this constant is coming is nothing but 1. So, next what we will discuss, uh, suppose uh, what will be the probability between 2 to 3. So, then probability that now what we found that what is the probability density function f of x is, is nothing but uh, 1 by x square whenever x is greater than 1 less than infinity it is equal to 0 otherwise. So, now we know that know the probability density function. So, so, when we know the probability density function then we can compute the probability. So, then probability of whether x is greater than 2 less than 3 what will be the probability? This probability will be nothing but integration 2 to 3 f x d x. So, this is nothing but which is equal to nothing but 2 to 3 1 by x square d x. So, this is minus 1 by x 2 to 3. So, this is nothing but 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. So, this is nothing but 1 by 6. So, this is the probability. So, hope you have understood and following uh, uh, the lectures. So, we have already uh, we the completed probability uh, mass function, we discussed some of the important uh, example of probability mass function and how to find probability mass function from probability distribution function in case of x is discrete random variable and how to find whenever probability mass function is given, how to find the probability distribution function from the probability mass function. So, that we have already learned and some numerical example we have done. Then we completed probability density function whenever x is a continuous random variable. So, how we can uh, define the probability density function and then if you know the probability density function then how you can compute the probability cumulative distribution function, what are the properties of the probability density function in case of x is a continuous random variable and some numerical examples how, how to find the uh, cumulative distribution function from the probability density function and also uh, how, to, how to compute the probabilities using the probability density function. So, we have learnt all this uh, uh, probability uh, classification of the random variable, discrete random variable and continuous random variable. Next we will discuss some other important measures, this is called the moments.